Today is Wednesday, January 24, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Refuse to be lukewarm. Our opening scripture is taken from Revelation 3, verse 16, and it says, So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Wow. A lot of people use our opening verse to preach to sinners. But it's not talking about sinners at all. The Lord Jesus was talking to Christians who had become tepid or unenthusiastic, unprofitable, and ineffective. These were in the church at Laodicea. For they were the ones the Lord was addressing in Revelation 3, 14 to 21. A Christian who is lukewarm is an unprofitable servant. In Matthew chapter 25, Jesus told a parable about a servant who did nothing with the talent of money his master entrusted to him and was described as unprofitable. Jesus began the parable by saying in Matthew 25 verse 14, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man. Or read the entire parable up to the 30th verse. And you'd observe that the unprofitable servant he was referring to was a member of the kingdom of heaven. He's termed the unprofitable servant because he didn't produce results with the talents given to him. The 30th verse also shows us the fate of the unprofitable servant. The master said, Cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh, now, Pastor says, the only hope a lukewarm Christian has is to repent. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. That we can find in Revelation 3, verse 19. Glory to God. If you've been lukewarm, Pastor says, you need to repent urgently because the Holy Spirit came into your life to make you active for God. He came to impact you for service. He came to make you fruitful, profitable, efficient, and effective. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, dear Father, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, I yield myself fully to the leading of the Holy Spirit to be a burning and a shining light, effective, efficient, and profitable in the kingdom. I'm forever aglow, radiant, fervent, and active in serving the Lord, winning souls, and spreading the gospel. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit that propels and guides me to be ever fruitful and productive. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read Revelation 3, 15 to 17, Romans 12, verse 11 of the MNT, then... 2 Timothy 4, verse 2. Praise God, saints. Evidently, the Lord detests spiritual lassitude and ineffectiveness. So, we refuse to be lukewarm, we refuse to be lethargic and complacent. 